Say what? Stop filming me. <laughs> this is part of the intro. <laughs> here in St. Martin, Phillipsburg, and we're getting our dive certifications, and we're about to join a balance or a multi-hull rally and stay on a balance, our future boat. That's right. Earlier today, when we woke up, we had a nice email from the Balance folks, and it was a PDF file with photos updating our progress on our boat. Uh, so basically, it is out of the molds. The whole bottom section and top section have been joined, so it now actually is starting to look like a boat. Uh, they're still working on the insides, but the next piece I think that's gonna happen is the coach roof gets put on, uh, and we're about six months out. It's looking good. We're getting ready to head to our dive class. We're going to do off the boat. We're getting our dive certs. And then tomorrow we're going to hook up with Catalyst, a 482 in the multi hole rally here in St. Martin. And after that, a week of partying with them, we're going to get on in balance the 482 and head to bring it all the way to Fort Lauderdale. The captain taking that boat is actually taught the last two in balance universities so dennis and i are going to get like our private instruction on a 482 our future boat Yay! okay here's our wonderful <laughs> dive instructor uh tell us how you got started as a diving instructor or mm -hmm. well i wanted to be a marine biologist so I went to school for marine biology and to study marine biology. Um, and I always loved diving ever since I was I got certified when I was 16. So I've always loved diving. And then after school, I just wanted to be an instructor for like a year. And then I drove down after I graduated to Florida. And I got my instructor certifications three days after I graduated college. So, and then I just continued it for almost four years now. Yeah. How do you recommend people who are interested in diving get started? Well, definitely, you know, if you don't know if you'll like it, you can always do a scuba scuba dive. And it's just like a one time, it's kind of like a crash course. You go with an instructor, you do a couple skills, and you go for a dive. And that way you can kind of see if you like it or not, if it floats your boat or not. Um, and then if you like it there, then you can start purchasing the e-learning for Patty and go through the e-learning and get all the information for it. And then you start with your, with your course with an instructor. What recommendations do you have to help people get over their fears of of diving. the ocean mm -hmm. or just diving in general both <laughs> um sure well it's just like really about trusting your equipment that you have you know to go flying in an airplane right you have to have trust in the pilot and the plane itself right same thing with diving if you're going underwater right you have to have trust yeah. in the equipment and the people that you're with as well taking you diving so if you have trust in that especially nowadays it's come a long way since it first started with the equipment <laughs> and everything it's all it's gotten so much better and safer so it's actually a pretty safe activity if you know how to do it. That's why you have to get certified to go diving. Because if yeah. you don't know what you're doing, then it can be dangerous. 
So what's your favorite thing about diving? Oh, just the wildlife? Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yesterday we saw a pipefish. Pipefish? We saw an octopus. Mm -hmm. All sorts of different kinds of fishes. Hopefully today we'll see turtles and sharks and... Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Yeah. No, the sharks here are fine. Yeah. Is there anything to do with sharks? Because that's like my beer right there. No, sharks, I will, like, I, I could sit you down for like an hour and then talk you out of your fears of sharks. <laughs> For sure. Like they're really, they Over really shots. don't, they really don't bother you anymore. They yeah. just swim by and then, yeah, they're gone. So yeah, it's like a big fish. Okay. <laughs> All right. Back to the sharks. Do you ever, <laughs> do you ever, like, what do you do to, do you try to attract them? Like, um, so sometimes, bucket. yeah, so sometimes when we do some of these dives, if there's, if everyone's comfortable, I'll take a water ball underwater. The Caribbean reef sharks just like the crinkle. Oh. So it gets them a little excited, so they start swimming kind of a little fast. Yeah. Around. So, yeah, so sometimes I'll do that, but that's also what attracts usually like the bull sharks as well. So if you have the bull sharks in there, you maybe no, don't want to do that. <laughs> but to, here wait. we don't really have bull sharks, so. Wait a second. <laughs> you just said not to be scared of sharks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, the bull sharks, though, you do. I mean, bull sharks, I mean, they can be more aggressive, like mostly in shallow water, though. So if you're diving in deep water, you're usually fine with the bull sharks, but you still should keep an eye on them. They are the most aggressive. Yeah, for sure. So, um, and especially if you crinkle the thing. You get the, yeah, you get them riled up. So, <laughs> do you ever flunk any of your students? Uh, so, <laughs> really, the only time I've yes, ever yes today. Had, <laughs> yeah, today, first time. So you have to complete the skills. So, like that's okay. that's part of a patty requirement. If you can't perform all the skills, then I can't certify you. So. For like the people, especially the hardest one for most people is the mass removal and replacement skill. So if you can't do that, then I can't write you off yet. So that's usually the one that people have the most trouble with, and I have had people before who can't do that and oh, wow. need more work with it. So I can certify them at that given time. Favorite acronym? Oh, for Bangkok. the B W R A F. Yes. Well, you guys picked the Bangkok women really are fellas. <laughs> that was which is Tim's old one from Thailand. Yeah, yeah. He used to live in Thailand. Um, I like the uh, the Bruce Willis rules all film or ruins all film. Whether or not you like Bruce Willis or not, I like that one. And those stand for uh, begin with review and friends. So that's Patty's version or BCD waits releases air and final okay. Final okay. So that's your pre dive buddy check. Yeah. Before you're going in the water. Different. For our first dive class yesterday, I only had a shorty suit, one, and no layers, and I was freezing. So I have two swim shirts, and I'm going to wear two shorties. <laughs> All right, so the four rules of diving. One, you want to always have a buddy. Two, move slowly, continuously, just nice, easy movements. Always continue breathing. You're either inhaling or exhaling, nice and controlled. And you never want to go past your NDL.
then you're gonna take your fins off, and then, uh, oh yeah. You're just peeing, admit it. Guys, how was that dive? So we just finished all our training for our dive certifications and this was the reward. You should have seen how fast I swam back to that boat to get my reward. All right, so we are officially certified. Thank you. You're welcome. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whenever I'm on land, it like switches. So I saw my first shark, right? Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was totally chill. Yeah. Didn't have a problem with that. And I think we checked every box off. You saw a turtle, I saw the shark, and then we saw a squid and lobster. We saw lobster, dinner. Lobster. Lobster. <laughs> Um, barracuda? Oh yeah, lots of barracuda. Yeah. barracuda. Yeah. Big ones. Yeah. I barely saw the ray. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's you saw the ray. Yeah. Majestic yeah. flop flop. <laughs> Majestic flop flop. I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Thank Natalie, you so thank much. you. You're awesome, welcome. Wonderful. Well, happy you guys Appreciate are. it. Super fun. Oh my God. I'm a process.